Guys, there's a new coin out there that is making my 11 rigs over $20 a day. Yes, these are CPU mining rigs as well. I have 11 rigs. I'll point them out right now. I got five right here. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is for a total of eight 3900X Ryzen CPUs, two 3950X, and one 5950X. Now I encourage you guys to watch the entire video because I am sure there's gonna be a bunch of comments below which is probably already answered. Now before we get into this coin and stuff, I do wanna point out you gotta watch out for the rabbit effect. Now what is the rabbit effect? You guys came up with that name, not me. I'm just rolling with it because it sounds cool. But the rabbit effect is when I actually make a video on a coin Everyone points their hash rate at it, the difficulty skyrockets, and it's no longer as profitable as it once was. But there's an upside to the rabbit effect. And what is that? Hash rate does have to come from somewhere. And when it does move over to something, that opens up the floodgates for other coins that used to be profitable back to being profitable again. So keep an eye out on that as well. The CPU mining calculator, which is on my website, link in the description, will help you out with determining profitable coins as well. Currently, you do have to know your hash rates on a certain algorithm, but buttons will be implemented based on CPUs very, very soon. So keep that in mind as well. So let's jump over to the workstation, see what coin I'm even talking about and why I waited so long to make a video. So I've only been mining it for about a week and a half. I have been waiting for the coin to be stable for a full seven days before I made this video. So it looks like things have been stable. I'll talk about why it hasn't been stable previously and kind of give you an idea because I do not want to point people to a network that was broken at the time. Okay, so the coin that I am mining is known as BitTorium. Yes, BitTorium kind of sounds like Raptorium, but it's not. It is BitTorium. So this was forked out of Raptorium. So we can see down here in their February roadmap, we forked one of the best blockchains ever developed, Raptorium, for the Ghost Rider algorithm, implemented our ideas and tested network functionality. If you know anything about Raptorium, then everything runs exactly the same. You mine it and there is also smart nodes. Current APY on smart nodes is sitting at 55%. We're gonna look at the collateral and stuff later on. It's at the lowest point. Currently for a smart node, you only need 600,000 coins. It'll move up to 800,000, 1.2, and then 1.8 million, just like what we're currently seeing on Raptorium. 5% of the blocks does go to the dev. 75% of the blocks goes to the miners, which is 3750, 3750 BTM. And 20% of the blocks does go to the smart nodes. So let's just get some of the stuff out of the way right now. I know some people are gonna call it a pump and dump. Other people call it a scam coin. And depending on your angle, whatever, it doesn't matter. The point of this video and everything in general is this is legitly the most profitable way to mine. Now, will the coin be around for a couple of years? I have no idea. If it hangs in tight and, you know, does decent things and withholds within the next couple of years and proves itself, then that's awesome. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But right now, you can sell it and it is the most profitable thing to mine on your CPU currently, as long as you have the L3 catch. So I'm really leaning towards the Ryzen CPUs here. So I've been mining this for about a week and a half and we're on the block explorer here just to kind of give you an idea of why I waited one week. No, it has nothing to do with trying to stack up coins or anything like that. I wanted to make sure that this network was getting healthy. Now, if we look back, you can see the very first block was mine three weeks, six days, and 11 hours ago. It's kind of hard to justify it based on those types of days here, but early, early on the days when this first released, that it would hit a certain algorithm or something would happen with hash rate and the whole blockchain would go down and it would be down from anywhere from two to eight hours because people would have to move to their wallets and solo mine, find a solo block just to get the chain moving again. Now it has been fixed since, but I didn't want to point any of you guys towards, you know, a broken chain like that. So I said, you know what, once this thing, you know, they say they fixed the chain and it's stable for seven days, then I'm going to make a video. Well, it's been stable for seven days, so I am now making a video. And again, I've only been mining this for about a week and a half. 
Another issue that's kind of happening on the chain here has to do with the smart nodes in general. Now, as you can see, we have all these check marks here. These are reachable, correct smart nodes. But if you scroll down, you will see there are some unreachable nodes and they are getting paid for being on the network. So there's a whole bunch of, you know, back and forth chatter going on between things. But, you know, essentially these nodes aren't doing other anything other than getting paid. These are not helping the 51% double spend attacks or anything. These are just here doing nothing. And there's a lot of people upset with this situation. And, you know, for one, I don't blame them because why should they have nodes online and it's not doing anything for the network, but they're just pretty much getting their free payouts. So I believe they are working on fixing this. They did release an update a day or two ago, uh, but it looks like it hasn't affected everything and they're going to be fixing it and releasing something soon. So eventually these nodes will come offline and only the valid reachable nodes will be valid which is what you want this is the backup chain for the entire network if a 51 percent occurs like on raptorium on the main net with the miners then the smart nodes can take over and kind of justify that and nothing will happen so i have been mining on our plant and this was yesterday's payout twenty thousand three hundred and sixty three coins so let's see how much i made in 24 hours you can actually see it's been kind of stable by looking at the lines here it started with a peak and then you know it's been leveling off for the past seven days or so but we're going to go look at the price right now currently the price is sitting at 0.0011095 usd i'm going to go with a price of 0.001 only and i'm going to show you why after i give you the profitability so at the price of 0.001 my rigs are making me $20.36 USD a day. I divide that by my 11 rigs. That's $1.85 per day. Now, for everyone out in Canada, that works out to be $26.20 Canadian a day, which is where I'm from. So this is what I am legitly making. And per rig, that is $2.38 per rig. So that is actually slightly above eight RTX 3070 GPUs mining Ethereum right now. So that's pretty good. And my CPUs are using less power than this GPU. So now I'm going to go back and we're going to kind of look at the exchange here. It is listed on Xbitron and now it just went a little bit red and the price went down a little bit and now it's green again. But this is why I wanted to go with 0.001 instead of the actual price. If you know anything about trading or anything in general, you have two types of orders, a limit and a market. So a limit is when, you know, you set it for a price. So if I want to sell at 0, 0.0 at this exact price and I set it for this, I'm going to have to wait for someone to want to buy it at that price. Now, if you set a market price, pretty much, you know, you go to a market, you say, I want to buy 300,000 coins. It's going to pick away from up here. These are all the people that have limit sells. So here's a thousand, here's 16, here's 30,000, here's a thousand, here's 27,000. So a market buy is going to eat up all these coins until you hit that 300,000 mark. Now, let's say I have about 200,000 BTM coins. You can see here 19, 45, 21, 6, and then here's 106 limit and 106. So I'd probably end up finishing off here, which is 0 0.00101. So I could do a market sell right now, and I will end up eating through all these coins and probably taking about this one here. These, this person here, all these orders will be buying my coins as I market sell them. So this is why I went with that 0 0.001, which is actually down to about this point here, but I will be selling to about this point. So this is the lowest price, or I guess the highest price that I would get for my market sell. That's why I wanted to use that instead of going by the current price. So you kind of had an idea of how the exchanges work between limit orders and market orders. Now, because there's not much volume, if you really want to get your coins to go through, you are going to have to use that market order. And that is why we're seeing these big swings here. It doesn't take much with low volume coins to cause a swing like this. So we can see someone quickly bought, someone quickly sold. And that's what's going on here. We can see a big buy order coming in because a lot of people are trying to get into those smart nodes because it's extremely cheap at this point in time. As for my total actual coins that I have in the past week and a half, I'm sitting at 263,997. So I'm actually going to go have a peek to see how much I have made in the past week, week and a half here. So I've actually made $263.99 if I was to go and sell right now. And that's for 263,000 coins 
which between all these, I would definitely end up right here. Exactly what I just showed you on the exchange earlier. So if you already shut off this video, you fast forward to here and you're probably asking a question about some, I already went through how this whole process works. I will be getting over 00 0.1 and I will be able to sell instantly. There's no issue doing on market sell with this amount of coins in the buy orders for the amount that I have right now. All right, guys, so there you have it. Bittorium is extremely profitable on a CPU right now. Now you don't have to like the coin. You don't have to stand for anything and think it's gonna do massive things. It might, it might not. We have no idea what it's gonna do. It's extremely new. It's three and a half weeks old. If it lasts and does good, that is awesome. That's just another CPU coin to add to the CPU arsenal. If it doesn't do anything, it doesn't do anything. The point is right now you can sell it and it is extremely profitable. It is the most profitable thing to mine on your CPU this very second. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you're not yet a member of the Discord community, the link is in the description. Be sure to join the Discord so you can stay up to date on all these coins I'm always trying out. Also, if you're looking for a profitable ASIC miner like this HS Lite or the KD Box Pro or something, and they are currently in stock and they sell out very fast, I do have legit links in the description for Coin Mining Central and code Rabid Mining 100 will also grant you an additional $100 off any ASIC off their website. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Rabid out. Thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't seen one of these, be sure to check them out. And if you already seen them, maybe you missed some, might have to watch it one more time. And if you just let it play in the background, that's all right as well. I do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week. So be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that. As always, have a great day.